here we are just setting off on a little walk from a different car park than what we're supposed to be at as the gates were all locked so it must have had two or three miles on Heal the water today. Look, people can carry empty drinks out or drinks out and not take empty cartons back. Lovely the people we have living in England. Wouldn't be nice if it was windy, would it? It's really still in it. Really still in it.
right. We've actually joined the trail now that we're supposed to be on. We parked, should have parked further up the hill a bit. But as I say, the gates were shut. So it took us just over a mile to get the way. But as it happens, it's not a long walk. It's only about three and a half, four miles. And then obviously the mile, mile and a half I did on each end. So it's not going to be a long walk, just a little walk out. Decent walk for the dogs, half decent walk for, for the missus. We haven't got no bait, I think we've got an apple. So I think we'll be stopping at the pub on the way back, get some at the wheat. Oh, and it's still raining. But there's no wind, so that's a bonus. <laughs> Just straight down. Yeah, I think these um, carvings on the rocks the Bronze Age look like they're made out of bronze so very unusual to find these bronze aged plaques put into stones yeah, supposed to be a few of them around here The video's a bit shaky because my gimbals give up the ghost. So I don't know if it's flat or wet. But it stopped working. Larch and in nice autumn colours. So the beach, march across here to there. It still hasn't stopped raining. I think you're going to need a 4 4 for this bit of road. Obviously it hasn't been repaired for a few years. When do you think the next bus is coming out? Amazing how these Bronze Age people got this carved like that and in a perfect circle the stone. I reckon it's aliens that visit them and shown them how to do this. What do you think Alison? Yeah? Aliens? Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Look at these. Hey, fantastic, yeah. Inside. 
Yeah, it is. It's massive. There's another one, look. Another one. Yeah, isn't it fantastic? Get your kids along. Have a look at them. Look, the dogs love them. Yeah. Here's another one of them bronze age things. Look, see, it must be aliens because it's a deer with an aerial on its head and that must be sending messages to them. Without a shadow of a doubt, definitely is. Do you think that, Alison? Yeah, I think so, definitely. All right, I've eaten all my cranes, have you got some more? The yellow ones are best. You got any tin foil out for my head? Ali? You got any tin, no tin foil? That protects you from them, you know. I seen it on that film. Uh, I can't remember the name of it now, but they were sat in a cupboard with tinfoil on their heads. No, oh, he might have gladiator. He got killed, but he got killed in Gladiator and he made that film before Gladiator, so he was still alive. Uh, he got a bit of a funny lip. Walk the line. I don't know if you walked on lines or not. I don't try. I was trying not to step on lines, Allison. Never mind walking on them. Do you step on cracks and pavements? No, I don't. You never know what's going to happen. This is the car park we were supposed to set off from that you can no longer get to because they have the gate locked. So I can't remember the little book that Alison looked in to find this walk. But you can't do it from where they say at the start. So this you have to go down to the ferry terminal thing, park up there, walk a mile and a half to start the trail and then walk around the woods till you get to the start here. And then you've done half the trail, well two thirds of it, and you set off and you walk back to where you met the trail in the first place then you turn left and walk back to the ferry terminal so if you're going to fetch your kids don't bother it'll be too far for them so all the alien little signs that they said fetch a piece of paper and some cranes to do some brass rubbings 
is a total waste of time unless your kids are very fit and about 12 or 13 don't bother fetching any little ones because you'll be carrying them hey we're out the forest uh, didn't see any more alien signs but we're out the forest this is the way now we're going to join the track to turn left to go home apparently from what I can understand on the map but you can see Kielder again now and it's raining what a surprise but not to worry Alison's loving it look at that look at that yeah total enjoyment that face yeah Now we're just on our way back to the ferry terminal sort of campsite visitor centre area where we set off from. So still raining a little bit, but nothing's dampened Alison's spirit. Look, there she is. Look at her. Hi, Alison. Look at that smiley face, see? Uh, yeah, I didn't eat the cranes, she did. Yeah, take the back to that again, St. Luke's, when I get her on. It's only on weekend for release. But, yeah. Good to be out. Dogs have enjoyed themselves, apart from Skinny Whippet, who's tiptoeing through the mud. She doesn't like getting her feet wet. And yep. Been a lovely day for it, hasn't it, Ali? Yeah? Lovely day for it. Yeah. It's liquid sunshine, Rain. It's liquid sunshine. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with her. Good bit of liquid sunshine dribbling down your back, it's bloody lovely. Right, back at the car park now. Well, visitor centre, uh, cafe, that's where the ferry goes from, just down there. Our truck's just over there somewhere. And it's still raining. But it hasn't been a bad walk through forestry. No wind. So, but quite wet. Look at the poor dogs. Look at them. Yeah. Soaking. 